Hello everyone, welcome back to the Autumn Main Campaign. I'm Keb. I'm Perry. And you're about to fight the big war. I'm fighting a big war. By my standards. Yeah. Which just means I've been empowered to lose in a new and fascinating direction. It's always just before I declare a war that I lose all the claims. Yeah, let's get this war started right now. Get this party started. Wait, what? Sorry. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> oh, you just jinxed yourself nine ways to Sunday. Hey, my new province in the Philippines is producing Chinaware. Which I find amusing, oh, considering I'm in China. Yeah, well, you can't go, go, walk, go walking around naked. Have to wear something. Well, well played. Well played. Like I said, I'm learning. It'll take a while, but... Oh, you'll pick it up a lot faster doing this verbal stuff than you would have with the old tech stuff. Come on, third army. Thank you, third army. I'm here to crush you. We come in peace. We ming you no harm. Sorry, couldn't resist. Go, go enjoy Ethiopia. I need oh, to expand. I need to expand. I thought my northern border was safe and they sent an army up there. Oh well. How oh, interesting. In the middle of the war, Oirad absorbed uh, Mongolia. As long as you don't take the capital, they should be able to, I think. Well, it was, you know, diplo annex annexation, so. Well, we had the whole country. Ethiopia is trying to westernize again. Oh, well, that, that went so well last time. Oh, yep. Well, thank you, Korea. Ah. Uh, B? No guy who took back their Kundun Is they Is now at war with Ryazan? <laughs> yeah, they also have a ton of rebels. Oh right, I had a mission. I forgot about that one. Are you, are you on a mission from God? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, I know it's a Blues Brothers reference. Wow! I'm suitably impressed on that one. <laughs> Why? It's a, a, it's a famous movie. Yeah, but you missed the Princess Bride one earlier, so I was... Yeah, but Princess Bride has so many. The entire film is quotable. That's the problem. Korea, I could kiss you if you weren't a country. I've seen Princess Bride, but it's been many years now. Oh, I see why. Number of a fortress. I like have making 40 ducats a month. You know what, Army? You can come back here because I need. A little more help sm spotting that team. That's scary. Oirat still has 40,000 soldiers. <laughs> My goodness. Seriously? Yeah.
And my manpower is almost gone again. Oh no, that happens. On the bright side, at least that isn't a requirement for uh, maintaining the divine main mandate. Still a nuisance. <laughs> England must be colonizing somewhere completely different. Oh, yeah, I think... I think England might actually be colonizing in... in Mexico. Pervasive for everyone? Yeah, I don't know. I think... Yeah, the natives don't go that far up. Yeah, because that's Texas. That's yeah. Yeah, I think they, that's where they went. Okay. So England has expanded. Well, that's to be expected. The Koreans are carrying this war very nicely. That's a good thing. They're useful for something. I'm glad I kept him as an ally. <laughs> Just use them, use them as blunt instruments for as long as you can, and then you jump on them. They have an army of twenty. I'm sorry, of eighteen thousand, being led by a one four four general. She wants whatever you are, whatever it is you aren't giving her right now. At least the list is all encompassing. <laughs> oh, holy war time. So, do I join this or do I stay out of it? I think I'll stay out of it. Or maybe I won't. Oh. France is in the Protestant League. That suddenly makes it have quite a bit of feeling. I think the Protestant League is going to win this. Isn't that a, isn't that a good thing? No, I don't know. I mean, when's the last time we saw the Protestant League win? Ah, uh, poor Oirat. Ooh, even better. Their main army came in to try to take one of the provinces we had taken from them. It's Mountain. And my big general just arrived with all of those can fun cannon. <laughs> uh, it won't be enough though they've got enough Why did I just crumble? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just bought a uh, a, a uh, level of admin ID, and it's like it's not like I'm going to need admin points in a minute to core provinces or anything. <laughs> Wow. Hmm. 
I'm still waiting. What? The wow. Oh, well, I joked about how overkill I had that one fight because they were in the mountains. Yeah. So he destroyed two of my armies. Ah. I'm surprised I haven't made an achievement for uh, for Judaism yet. I don't know if you know, but there's at the start of the game there's one province that's Hebrew, one province down in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and that province belongs to a revolt core. So you could, in theory, start as Ethiopia and release them and play as them. And turn, be. and turn the whole world. Hebrew, yeah. I sort of imagine that that's something they should would have made an achievement for. War is over. Congrats. Got most of what I wanted out of it. But not all. Oh, <laughs> what I wanted out of it was a lot more than... <laughs> a lot more than I could get. Uh, we will start with making... You know what, though? I... G Gained one, two, three, four, five provinces out of it. Made a much better. Oh, it made a much better border with Oirat. And I'll fix the Great Wall now. You have to stop breaking stuff. Yeah, it's. I know it's. I'm why, but I can't have good things. No more debt ever. <laughs> Until the next loan. <laughs> exactly. As soon as I quarter these provinces, I'll get my first uh, victory card. Well, congratulations.
Oh, no, Novgorod finally died. Oh? They've been hiding out in parts of Finland for a while. We well, just got perhaps the suckiest explorer I've ever seen. One shock, one fire, zero use. <laughs> you know what? You can be retired already because you're just embarrassing. It's rare to see that the Protestant League is actually large, has more, num more numbers than the Catholic sides. Well, you were saying the Protestants in this particular part of the, the Europa Cinematic Universe were, were usually unusually uh, successful. How much of Europe can you see? Can you see I, Central uh, Europe? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can see Poland's about half and half under... Uh, under Fog of War, I can see Kurland mostly, though I can't see Riga. I can see... Um, how do you pronounce the one island? Not Copenhagen, but the... No, actually, Rothen? no, I take, I take it back. I, I can see Copenhagen. Here it's called Copenhagen. You would think the Swedes would be able to learn to spell, spell Danish cities correctly, but... I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So we know the Swedes can't spell anything, right? The um... and you're the one. You're the one that has to impress the people if you want the, the want uh, early access to DLCs. I want to impress anyone? I want to do this just for hell of it. <laughs> if this ends up being something that I do, if I end up start doing stuff like this for games to do reviews and stuff, I'm I'm going to be completely honest about things. As, but silly little jokes about like that are just going to be that silly little. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm just make, giving you a hard time. I really wanted to insult someone. I'd call him a Norwegian. Oh. <laughs> uh, it took effort to work that in there, but I'm glad I took the time. <laughs> I mean, if you look at places in Europe historically, you know, look at Rhineland, Germany and France are like, no, it's mine. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. Look at the Po Valley in Northern Italy, France and Austria are like, it's mine. No, it's mine. Then you have Norway, Denmark and Sweden are like, it's yours. No, it's yours. <laughs> I, do, so I did one of those jokes at work the other day and one of my, one of my staff was like, like, how can you joke like that? And I turn and I go, one, they're harmless. They don't actually mean what you think they mean. Second, they apply anywhere on Earth. Any group of people in the world, this this is stuff that's applying. So you could, you know, you can put it wherever you want to. So it's, that's the fun thing with it. It works everywhere. You still don't get it. Too sad, I cried a tear, then move on. <laughs> oh, another ID group. It's actually fun. One of my, uh, another one of my staff, he uh, is getting into graphic arts and computer game design. He carries around this wa one of those Wacom tablets for drawing. Yeah. Um, and he was having a really bad day the other day. He had several different things go wrong. He'd, he'd gotten a test back and the grade was horrible. Um, and then when he went to explain it to the, ask the professor what was up, the professor was basically, suck it up, that's your grade. A few weeks before that, his girlfriend had broken up with him. Um, and just a bunch of other things. So he comes into class, uh, into work and starts just kind of setting stuff up for when he's got kind of downtime. And realizes that the stylus for his tablet is missing. So he starts looking and looking, so he quickly gets up and runs back to his previous class where he last saw it. Comes back a little later, things gone. He's dropped it someplace, and the uh, that drawing tablet that he uses for all of his artwork and all of his games and stuff is now useless. Ouch. So yeah, so he was really, really sad. I mean, to the point of almost crying. And he, we, our shop has a couple of older ones as spares, so he borrowed one. But it's you know, it's not the same thing. It's not yours. Um. Well, so I went home. That, <laughs> I got home that night, and I called a buddy down in L.A. who who uh, his shop carry stuff like that and just 
talked about the situation and so he, he had he had one that he, he could send me on the cheap so um you know I, I paid for it and next day it showed up up here and so i went into work and he comes in he's still all despondent and everything and i finally just hand him the box and it's like he starts crying again but this time it's like i can't believe you just did this i don't deserve stuff like this why are you being so nice like you needed help I had a buddy who owed me a favor. I called the favor and this suddenly is help. Ta-da! The, sometimes the world does good things. Enjoy it. It's like, it's like for the next half hour, I don't deserve this. I, I, you shouldn't have given this. Like, you know what? If you if you want to pay me back, make really good use of it. I'll consider, then I'll consider as even. So I had my, I did my good deed. I was very proud of myself. But then again, I like making people's lives better. Except for Sefri. Sefri's on his own. For those of you who listen who don't know who Sefri is, congratulations, you don't know who Sefri is. <laughs> well, he's, he's a guild member of Warcraft. The World of Warcraft. And nobody's ever heard of that game. No. We thought about doing a Let's Play World of Warcraft, but honestly, if you need that kind of instructional stuff for World of Warcraft, uh, yeah, I've got bad news for you. They're closing the servers? Is that the bad news? <laughs> I feel the bad. The game is dying! The game is dying! You know... You know what should be mandatory reading for people who get on the internet? It's not end user license agreements, it's not terms of service, it's nothing like that. Every single person when they log into the internet should be required before they can go any further to read Chicken Little. <laughs> yeah, I can sign up for that one. Because it's like the Stellaris forum. Nothing is just a, oh look, this doesn't look right, hopefully they'll fix it someday. It's the, oh, look, the game won't work. So, I don't know. For those of you out there who see a minor bug and think it's the end of the world, your world is very small if it's ending over something like that. Get over yourselves. We all know the world will end when a giant uh, marshmallow man starts crushing a large metropolitan area. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd been studying all these, all, all the um, D minus whatever diaries. All right, I've read it. I haven't read. I didn't see them this weekend actually, but no, I've I've read them all. I wrote two of them. Yeah, I know, and then you just didn't. The end of end of everything is either up by a massive super volcano or some other calamity. Yeah, my second one didn't get didn't seem to get quite the response as the first one, so I was a little little sad about that. Yeah, they want doom and gloom, not positivism. I just thought it was neat that water is kind of the defining feature for uh, plate tectonics. Any planet like Earth that you add water to basically will have a plate system. Oh well. Probably establishes me as a geologist nerd. France decided to attack England again. And yep, England has English Mexico as a subject, so... Hey, uh, y Japan has, has unified. Oh, yeah, good for them. But all the daimyos did have their course, so... It could disintegrate. They have Diplomacy 5, and Admin 7, and Defensive 0. And you have a growling thorn. Yeah. It happens. It's been a while since my last snack. I'm trying to figure out why the game gave me a, uh, <laughs> a victory card to go beat up on Korea. It's like, I like Korea. Korea is friend. And that's just how they always put your allies as your only rival choice. Well, that's just Johan having a bad day. That's what I've always attributed it to. Is just Johan's like, I like the system, but it can't cause enough pain and tears. Make it pain. Uh. 
no, reading through some of the some of the tweets and stuff. If I'm ever at some sort of gaming event, and I do bump into Martin, I'm just going to look at him after he's, you know, when we get into the conversation. And at some point, I go, well, if you just made it a learning AI, you wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> That's apparently the the biggest problem that he has going on at this. Both well, seem to think that that's an easy thing to do. Of course it is. Haven't you ever read Dilbert? Love everything Dilbert. that everything that I know is probably easy. When the pointed boss decided that they should make a space station or whatever it was. It's it's worth noting with Dilbert that Dilbert is actually only tr truly funny until you realize it's real. Yeah, I know. I loved that comic until I actually started working at an office. Suddenly it wasn't funny anymore. <laughs> there we go. Revenge, finally. I ate Ragusa. I don't know if you remember how much trouble they caused me early on. Oh yeah, I did. No, I, no, I no, ate no, Ragusa no. with with a white with a with some fava beans and a nice key on tea. <laughs> My God, <laughs> isn't that the reference? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were I thought you were sniffling, and it's like <laughs> as opposed to his little whatever the hell sound that was. Yeah, I, I can't quite make it. But I do remember it, the sound at the end of that quote. You'll be happy to know India is beginning to start to blob. Gujarat is beginning to uh, pull, stuff, pull its stuff together. Yeah, they're using Persia, I think, as a blood, blunt instrument. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I like, I like this ability more than I like this. Right. I will never get rid of this. I gotta say it is I'm pretty happy with how this Ming is going right now. Yeah, it looks solid. Oh yeah, I can actually see your colonization of the Philippines. Forgot about that. Map spread and everything. Yeah. A couple more and I've got the whole thing. Dong. I like the little the little gong sound when opening the religious uh, religious tab is Confucian country. Okay, Tunisia. So long. Dissolve this alliance. Well, that's one of those goodbye chump kind of things. Yeah, they they do not want to be vassalized diplomatically, so I'll have to vassalize them by other means. Ah, the making them an offer they can't refuse me mechanism. I don't make them an offer. I just state what it, what it should be. Um, what is this? I I like how they've they've changed the wasteland so they color in now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Little baby quality of life thing. Little baby. And it looks to be that time again. Okay. Also then. Oh yeah. Well, I guess we'll take a short break here then, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a good one.